Good morning dolls and welcome to little Gretchen's workshop. So it's time to get some window dressings up to these bare windows in the dress shop. So Aunt Bess and Aunt Janie can go ahead and move in. So I'm going to start out by making some decorative window shades. I don't even know if that was a thing back in the early 1900s, but it's what I'm going to do dolls. So I took some fabric that I thought would really coordinate and blend well with the wallpaper I used on the accent wall of the dress shop showroom. So in this instance dolls, I actually did measure or do a type of measurement using that blue tape on my ruler to determine how big I need my window shade to be. Now I measured it out. It's a little bit over two inches. And so I left the blue tape there kind of as a marker. And I'm also using it as a marker of where I need to cut my bamboo skewers, which will be the roller for my shades. Now, dolls, my shades are not actually going to roll up and down, but if I need to roll them or unroll them to different lengths, I will be able to in certain rooms. But here I just show myself cutting the fabric to the width that I know that I need my shade to be, and then I trimmed it off. Now, you're going to see me measure more than once in the process of this because I do not want my window shades to be too wide where I won't be able to place them in between the window frames. And I actually want it to be a pretty tight fit so I don't actually have to glue them in. Now you see me here stirring up a small amount of the water and glue solution. I want these window shades to be pretty firm. Now the fabric is very soft, it's a cotton, and I want it to be a little bit more rigid and I wanna make sure that it doesn't fray. So I'm using this sponge to just dampen the fabric and now you see me adding the tacky glue along the edge and blending it in before I actually allow them a moment to dry. Now in the dress shop showroom, there are only two windows. So I do have two pieces the same size and I did the exact same thing to both of them and allowed them to sit aside to dry. Now here I'm cutting my bamboo skewers to the same lengths that I did the width of the shades because I'm actually going to roll the shades up on the bamboo skewers and I cut several because I have several shades to do. And after they are dry, I begin to roll them up on the bamboo skewer. Now at this point, the shade was just a little damp so I was able to arrange it really nicely on the roller. Now I still had a little scrap left over from the piece that I used to make the shade and I decided to go on and make some draped valances. Now dolls I cut it in a long strip it was just enough to make two and I split them in half and after I split them and smoothed them out I went ahead and turned a really really thin hem. I'm adding the tacky glue to put a really, really shallow hem all around the perimeter of the drape because I don't want it to fray. Now with the valance, I didn't wet it until I had completely hemmed it. I am using my clover iron to just kind of tap that hem to make sure it stays down. I allowed it to completely dry before I dipped it in my water and glue solution. Now this valance, you could make it any length you want. Mine is kind of short because I had a small scrap. And after it's completely hemmed and you allow the hem to dry, I actually dampened it with the same water and glue solution. And then I began to shape it on a piece of foam core that I covered up with painter's tape. I put the painter's tape on so it won't stick and I glued it with dress pins to keep it in the shape that I want it to be when it's completely dry. Now doll, this is going to take some time. This is definitely Lee edited video. So have patience with yourself while you're creating the shape that you want your curtains to have. Now again, this can be any length. Mine are short because my scraps were small, but I think it works out really well because I don't want my curtains to go all the way to the floor and be in the way and compete with the other things that I've chosen for the dress shop showroom. So I'm allow that to dry and we'll check that out in a moment. So I went back to the little shades, they were dry, and I wanted to add a little trim to them. Even though they were a really pretty print, I thought they needed a little something extra. So I went ahead and added that little trim to the bottom, and I added my little handle pull. Now the handle pulls are actually made out of some more nail art dolls. You know that's my thing. And I actually just tied a string around the nail art. Then I just added a little cream paint to the front and the back of the little loop 
so that it would coordinate with the fabric. Now the rest of the house was going to be pretty simple so I made some shades as well for the rest of the house but I just used really plain fabric. I did hem it all the way around so that it wouldn't fray because this fabric was a little bit different weight. Used the exact same technique rolling it up up until the length or the height that I wanted it to be on the window and just glued it in place so that it would stay. So here dolls, I'm going to show you really quick how I added the little nail art loop as the shade pull for the window. Adding a little bit of glue and I'm just attaching it by dabbing it into the glue and then laying a small piece of fabric on top of it just to secure it so that it dries nice and secure because I don't want it to come loose. I tapped it a little bit with the back of my needle tool and allowed it to dry. And I also added that little trim to this as well because when I was a little girl, I remember our shades having a little decorative element, especially to the ones in the front of the house. And just like that, you have some lovely little shades for your windows as basic window treatments until you determine what you really want to do with the windows in your dollhouse. You know, sometimes just like when you move into a new house, you haven't made all the decisions about your decor, but you still want your windows to be dressed appropriately. Now, I think that looks really nice. And I'm really glad that I added the trim to the front and the back. So even if somebody peers in the window, the windows look really nice, neat, and really pretty. Now, dolls, I allowed that valance to dry overnight. So here I am just removing the pin from the foam cord. Now, it's going to be a little bit tough because when it dries, the fabric to the valances are really firm and those pins are really stuck in there pretty, pretty tight. So be really careful when you're removing the pins. Make sure you remove all of them before you begin to handle your valance. Now, dolls, I'm about to do something a little bit radical. I'm not going to make any curtain rods for these little drapey valances. I'm actually going to adhere them to the window frame directly with a little bit of fabric tack. Now they, they're pretty firm, they're pretty rigid, they're in the shape that I want them to be in. So to me it's really not necessary to go through the process of making any type of curtain rod or anything like that. Now dolls, if you feel more comfortable doing that, definitely do so. Do what works for you. I played around with the idea a little bit and finally I just scrapped that and went with my original thought. Now dolls, you know how I do sometime, right in the middle of one idea, I get a new idea. So after adding the trim to the window shade, I decided to add the same trim to the valance itself. I thought that would look really nice in a dress shop. Now I didn't do it in any like particular way, I just added the little trim along the draped part of the valance and just ran a small bead of the tacky glue and gently laid it right along the edge so that it would look almost as though the window valance has fringe on it. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm not making a curtain rod, so I just used a little bit of my fabric tack glue onto the high points of the valance. So I did the corners, the middle. So come on dolls, let's go ahead and put this in the dress shop. And here we are dolls back in the dress shop showroom. I have my shades up and the little drapey valance that I added. Let's do a quick peek at the rest of the shades in the house. I'm really excited. Everything is looking nice and everything's in order. So now Aunt Bess and Aunt Janie can go ahead and comfortably move into the dress shop. And here's a quick peek into the sewing room with the little shades up. Now dolls, if you've enjoyed this video today, definitely let me know in the comments. Also like, share, and subscribe, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.